Alpha Elite's launching new Amplify and Elements. But let's not get a twist. I know why you're all here. It's the Amplify. Am I right or am I right? If I were to do a poll right here, right now, who's more excited for the Amplify versus the Elements collection? I have a feeling I know which one would win. In fact, wait a minute. I did do that. Check it out. I think it's uh, safe to say what we're all here for. And I do not blame you. Are you seeing this color palette right now? Oh my goodness. I feel it's really good like that. You know, they hit it big with this Amplify legging. It's clearly, it's one of my top favorite leggings of all time. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you are new, welcome. My name is Ashley. These pieces, along with new elements, are all launching this Saturday, October 15th. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you are unaware, my code GATA actually gives you 10% off now on any and all Alphalete orders. Guys, this video is brought to you in part by Evie. They are a dope brand that specializes in seamless undergarments of all kinds, really good for pairing with your seamless leggings. <laughs> I try to wear my Evies in almost every single video. I love wearing them to the gym. They are the best, the best seamless underwear that I've found to date, and I've tried many in my day. What I specifically love about Evie and what I find to be unique is the fact that their seamless underwear does not slide around and does not roll, and here's why. They actually have a velvet grip that outlines their underwear. This helps with traction to keep it in place. If you take a look at their website, they have a really nice variety of seamless undies, everything from high-rise thongs, boxer shorts, cotton panties, and for those who like a little variety, they even sell combo packs. I got the desert pack, so I have a little variety of neutral solids, and print. So I wanted to take a quick second to share with you Epi's best-selling product. It is their seamless adjustable bralette. So I got it in the nude color, they also have black. So if you need a seamless bra to put underneath your tight fit tank tops and things like that, this is so perfect. The backing is full mesh, so very breathable, extremely lightweight. You have a really pretty scoop neck, a one inch lift, and there's no uncomfortable underwire. I have to say with Ebby, everything I've tried is very true to size, so I would stick to your true size. This is perfect. There's no slipping of the straps. Everything has a nice grip to it. Very smooth in the front. An absolute perfect bra to wear, especially under a tight tank. And guys, in case you don't know, this company is actually owned by Sofia Vergara, and their mission is to take proceeds from sales and donate them to micro loans for women who are trying to start their own businesses. I will have them linked down below, along with the items that I shared with you in today's video. Feel free to use my code AshleyGata to save yourself 15%. I've had a lot of conversations with those of you who love Ebby just as much as I do, so feel free to comment down below with your favorites. This way, other people can get an idea of what to try. All right, let's look at the elements. So we have the Elements Women's Cropped Jacket. I have to admit to you, I didn't get any for this launch. Truth is, Alphalete gives us a certain amount of selects that we're able to make for each launch. With that being said, I think you know what I gravitate towards. So I got a lot of Amplify, mostly Amplify. But don't get it twisted, Bay actually picked some men's selects that I fully anticipate on using and will probably get more use out of than the women's because I'm not really into the crop jackets right now. I'd rather full length to keep me legitimately warm. So we have the cropped zip jackets, the joggers, and the shorts. The men's selects are looking dope. We have some half sleeve pullovers, some full length crew neck sweaters, and some pullover hoodies. Like I said, I got one of those in burgundy and it's awesome. We also got Elements Athletic Jacket. They got two of those. Also, don't sleep on their exclusive tees. These are really sick as a pump cover. For me, the larger the better. You want that oversized look. Even with a pair of shorts, look really cute. So don't sleep on that. So for the Amplify, they're launching the Stratus bra, the leggings, and the shorts. We're looking at black, rich brown, butterscotch, Pixel Pink, Digital Violet, True Indigo, Utility Gray, and for the sports bra only, we have white. So let's go ahead and talk about these gorgeous colors, and then we'll hop into trying it on, talking about compression, different bands, and things like that. So for bras, I have the Pixel Pink. What a very beautiful spring color. Now I know what you're thinking, like, it's October. What the f I also have Rich Brown, which is like a really warm, chocolatey brown. Can't go wrong with black. Also can't go wrong with a plain white either. Mix and match. 
and Digital Violet, another spring color that you don't wanna miss out on because wow. So this has a periwinkle tone to it. In fact, it reminded me so much of the Buff Bunny Sugar Rush collection, that real pretty periwinkle color. In fact, let's see, oh, so, 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 so crazy close it hurts. I think it's like a shade different. This is like a shade darker. Let's take an up close and personal look at this Stratus bra. So this is a non-adjustable bra with removable bra pads, medium to high support. For me, I'd give it more of a medium. It has a long line length with a V neck. Big takeaway from this bra, they said you can get away with sizing up because it runs a little snug. Now, my true size is small across the board. I noticed with Amplify bras and Buff Bunny, I can technically get away with sizing down on extra small. They fit better and they're less bulky looking. With this particular bra, I stuck to my universal true size small and it works. So if you size down for Alpha Lee bras, I would say stick to your natural true size with this one because you don't want it to be too snug. This stretch is good, but keep in mind you have this double reinforced seam going right here, so it can only stretch so far. Plus, you do have this extra little band going on down here, fully attached in the front, but it's loose in the back, really sexy. I love this look. I do think that this could cause some potential bulging. I know for me in my true size small, I see it ever so slightly, so I couldn't even imagine sizing down in this. It would not happen. Overall, I think it's so pretty. You have that little amplify scrunch in the middle matching your behind. And if you look super, super closely, there is a virtually undetectable contouring. It's not a different shade or anything. It's all one shade. But if you look closely, it's like a really pretty design going throughout and I really hope my camera can pick that up. I pretty much had one of every color bra except for the utility gray, because I went with white instead. So I was like, it's kind of close to gray. When it came to the Amplify leggings, I grabbed one of each color except the black because I already have black. My favorite out of the bunch is butterscotch. When my package came in, I instantly took this out and said, all right, let's go to the gym. Wore this whole set to the gym, woo, woo, woo. Girl, I think this color is gonna go fast. A lot of you are DMing me, talk about this particular color. The sports bra held up great for me. Now here's a couple things I wanna note. Like I said before, right here is where the tightness is. So it stretches right about to here and then it doesn't budge. So when you're putting it on over your head, this is where you're gonna feel that snugness. This isn't so bad. But this is not snug enough right here to cause a crazy bulge. I wore this all day, all day this bra and there is nothing uncomfortable about it. I think they did a really good job with it. You see some skin poking through all the way across almost to the front of the under boob. Now my concern with that was, well, if I'm doing lat pull downs, are my titties just gonna come popping on out? I did test it, they held up great, nothing's poking out. They really constructed this in such a way with these thick seams so that it's not just material laying over the tits and then they slide. These bulky seams add a little bit of a cup underneath to help support the boobs so that they're not popping out when you're lifting up your arms. Even when working out, I noticed that this back band didn't move, didn't push in unnecessary places, didn't slip, didn't slide, it stayed in place nicely. Moving on to the leggings. So I'm getting a lot of questions about the material. Is it different from last time? What is it like? I'm hearing rumors of it being a lot like Here Comes the Sun collection. Now from my experience with the Here Comes the Sun collection, it was really, really thin material, especially the lighter shades like the yellows. This is not the case here. I'm feeling like this material in this launch is like last launch. It's the same exact thing, even in terms of the waistband compression. Now I do have a comparison picture that I will put in right here to show you guys the differences, the slight differences and the band size as well as the differences in the length of the leggings. You can see that they're not 100% the same. There are some inconsistencies, which has been proven to happen with the Amplify leggings. We're all aware of that. If I ever feel like there's something worth noting when new Amplify comes in, you guys would know about it. I will speak it to you. But the truth is, I didn't feel like there was anything worth noting when it comes to sizing. I have all my true size smalls and they're all fitting nearly the same. Lengths are a bit different, but this material is really good for shimmying up, smoothing out, and it's good to go. I did not size up to a medium because I've done that before, really tested them out, and I actually prefer having a little more support right in the waistband. I didn't want to lose that. And I like how it fits right around here. There's no extra 
looser material. So overall I'm saying, again, stick to your true size. If you're in between, I would say you can get away with sizing down because of the stretch. This is where all the stretch is. This is where most of the compression is, right in the band. You can get away with sizing down if you prefer more compression in the waistband and a little bit more in the leggings. Now again, this is just based off my measurements and my personal experience with the pieces. So by all means, this is how the pieces are fitting me. And not for nothing guys, but when there's some serious changes made to staple collections like the Amplify, Alphalete's really good at letting us know that. They always communicate any changes that may have occurred. In this case, there was nothing communicated and by the feeling of this, it's feeling the same as the last launch for me. And to top off this beautiful color, I have some other good news. This color is virtually squat proof compared to other amplifiers that are really rough in that department. This butterscotch, oh, it's nearly 100% squat proof on me. Now, I'm looking at myself and this looked black in the camera. Is it looking black? Because it's not. So with the rich brown color, I'm feeling like the top is a little bit less stretchy right around this band area a little tiny bit more difficult to get up and around but nothing to go crazy over and nothing to change sizes over either as far as the rich brown legging i feel ever so slightly less compression in the waistband everything else feels the same i will make mention of that but it's not something that's gonna make me change my size. It's nothing to really make a huge deal about. I feel like I start to lose my mind with this kind of thing. Like the little slight difference in the band by a half an inch or a quarter of an inch. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you feel it if you really think about it slightly, but if nobody talked about it, I wouldn't even think about it. Keep in mind, every legging has a slight moral print to it, except this rich brown. This looks very polished and solid. Ironically enough, I don't feel like this rich brown color is as squat proof as the butterscotch, but it's definitely passable for at the gym. See, I feel like I see a little bit of that meat going on back here. A little tiny bit of sheerness, but I'm still gonna rock it at the gym. Pixel pink, how about it? I feel like it should be called pixie pink, like a pixie stick. Reminds me of candy more than a pixel. Same type of compression the band as the rich brown that you just saw. So, so far the consensus is butterscotch is the most compressive. Not terrible in the squat proof department, especially with how light this is. This is one of the lightest colors of the bunch today. So I'm wearing my nude Epis. Check it out when I put over the Amplify. The Amplify, one of the thinnest leggings on earth. <laughs> and it's smooth sailing, no panty lines. How about it? I know my future self is gonna thank me. Come springtime, I'm gonna be so thankful that I snagged the pixel pink. So here's some mix and match inspo for you. For this set, I mixed the Utility Gray Amplify with the white bra. Now, I tend to do that with gray leggings because if I got the same color sports bra, me and cool tones are just kinda, too much of it will just wash me out. So I gotta mix it up. I gotta do a little bit of white. Plus I really love that it matches the white Alphalete logo, so just, flows nicely. Even though there's a black one on the bra, can't win them all. So I'm feeling about the same compression, right in between, not too tight like butterscotch. And when I say not too tight or too loose, I mean on a microscopic marginal scale. One thing to note about the white bra, if you're thinking about going for that, you will see the bra pads. They tend to do that with their white, like they just show up. I'm actually wearing the printed Ebby undies. This utility gray is one of the lightest colors that I have, so I thought, why not put a pattern undie underneath to see if it pops through? And keep in mind, I have like seven lights on me, so this should tell it all. So if you're good here, in my living room, you'll be fine in a low-lit gym. Play with this idea for a second. Spring comes around, and you got this mix and match to play with. What I think is really nice about this particular color is you can spring it up like this, ooh, or give it more of a winter touch by adding a white bra up top. I'm feeling the least amount of compression in the band in the digital violet color. I'm also wearing the print underneath here. Now this color, you're gonna see most of the marl out of any of the colors we have here today. This particular digital violet has a lot of marl breakup. This blue, whew, at first when I saw it, I thought it was more like the moonlight blue from the Here Comes the Sun collection, but they are different. In case you haven't noticed so far in this video, we do have the slides that pop up. To show you the comparisons of the other Amplify leggings in the same shade range, this way you could compare and say, oh, wow, it is different. Sometimes I'm thinking, wait, isn't this the same thing till I actually get it in and compare it to my other colors? They're always different. So in comparison to the other color leggings that I have, yeah, it's more on the lower compression scale. 
I'm still gonna say that the butterscotch had the most compression out of all of them for whatever reason. Which is actually super ironic because that's the one I've been wearing the most. So you would think that that'd be looser, you know, stretching out over time kind of thing. Not the case. But I know that I'm beating a dead horse when I say this, but for me, it's not enough to impact my size selection. A size small is how I'm gonna remain with all of these colors, no regrets. When I'm squatting, the way the light hits the material, because sometimes it can appear slightly shiny, that's where I think I'm seeing a little bit of sheerness on this leg. I think it's just a little bit of that shine going on, especially with the dark colors, the shine shows up more. Because I literally have a ring light that's just beelining right to my booty, I think that that's what's happening here. I don't think it's sheer like that. All right guys, so that concludes yet another installment of Alphalete Amplify. I'm always so excited when they're coming out with new colors because they're my favorite to talk about. Comment down below, what is your favorite color of the bunch? Alphalete always does such a good job with their color palettes and I'm really happy to see them yet again smashing it. Not only did they come out with the rich fall colors, but I can't get enough of those light colors too. Specifically these vibrant light colors. You know how I feel about like the pale muted pinks and things like that. Eh, this is where it's at for me. Let me know if you're shopping the launch, comment down below. And again, thank you so much if you use my discount code GATA at checkout to help support this channel. Thank you guys for being here. I love you so much and I will catch you in my next video.